Hello, and welcome back to Keeping Up with Kristen. You know, OGA and our legislative activity is one of the most important things for your membership. So I'm here today with our partners uh, in crime, if you will, uh, the people from Frost Brown Todd, their subdivision, uh, Civic Point. And as you know, Joe Ewig and our newest member of the team, Deb Hackathorn, is here. So Deb, why don't you tell us a little bit about Civic Point and Frost Brown Todd? Sure. Thanks, Kristen. Yeah. Um, so yes, I am with Civic Point, and we are really proud that we were able to start representing the Ohio Grocers Association when we were smart enough to bring Joe Ewig over to the team. So we thank you for putting your trust in us. Um, we hope you know that every day we are monitoring legislation across the street to see what impact it might have on you as a member. And we also monitor administrative decisions to see if any rules or decisions from a state agency might also have an impact on OGA. Uh, and we look to, to find opportunities where we might be able to do something proactively to help you as a member as well in those arenas. Um, a couple times we've worked this year with administrative agencies, including the Department of Commerce and the Division of Liquor Control, as well as Jobs Ohio, on several executive agency decisions that they've been considering, and we'll continue to do that on your behalf this year. We've also been working on several pieces of legislation and looking forward to the rest of the year, and I was going to have Joe tell you a little bit about that. Well, there's been uh, there's a handful of issues that we've been tracking on the legislative front now that the legislator's back in full swing uh, for the fall session, um, a couple of which include uh, various labor and employment uh, pieces of legislation, one of which is a bill that would curb um, ADA lawsuit abuse, uh, another which is uh, legislation pertaining to SNAP, and uh, particularly that would require uh, a photo ID on SNAP cards. And of course, we're always tracking uh, a lot of different tax issues, one of which is um, a bill that would uh, exempt prescription eyeglass and contacts from sales tax. And you can always uh, check the OGA website for a full list of legislation that we're tracking on their behalf. So it's always something, right, Joe? Always something. Always something. Absolutely. So just what you need to know as our membership is that you've got three great people here working for your legislative representation. So if there's ever an issue, just give us a call. But for now, thanks for watching Keeping Up with Kristen.